Yo, what's up guys, should you think here with another video to entertain or assist you in becoming the better fighting game player. And this video is all about fighting game terminology, a glossary if you will. Just came up with five things that uh, if you're kind of transitioning from like the beginner to trying to be competitive level, that you might want to pick up. If you're a seasoned veteran or you play online or you compete all the time, probably know all these like the back of your hand, but a little refresher never hurts. And if you enjoyed the video, let me know, because uh, I got tons of these terms I could make videos on. These are just five that uh, are more commonly asked of me. Anyways, number five is jailing. Not to be confused with frame traps. So a frame trap, for example, is something that leaves somebody uh, at an advantage on block so that they can follow up with a move that looks like it might be punishable, but if you try and press any buttons, it'll hit you. Jailing is something that goes right into uh, attack with no gap at all for anybody to do anything. So a good example of this is Wonder Woman's 2-2-3 string into her down one. So 2-2-3 is plus 12 on block as you'll see by looking at the moves list, plus 12. And their down one is a six frame startup. So because she has 12 frames of advantage, the down one comes out and there's absolutely nothing they can do about it. I have the AI set to dash backwards on as soon as they're able to. So you'll see that as long as I hit that last hit, I can do the down one afterwards. It jails, there's absolutely nothing they can do about it. There you go, just like that. This also works well on hit when you're using it into resets or anything like that. For example, Firestorm's Molten Trap is 17 hit advantage, which allows them to jail into a string that they have to block. So they have to take all that chip in addition because of the hit advantage on that jailing into the forward one move. So number four is Okazemi, or Oki as a lot of people uh, call it, or they say weird things like what's for breakfast, because <laughs> it refers to the wake up game. This occurs after knocking an opponent down and you can choose kind of what to go into next based on a read on what you think your opponent's going to do. For example, if I'm Supergirl and I do 1-1-2, I can do forward three to try and go for a cross up. I could run up and do 1-1-2 if I don't think they're gonna do a wake up attack. Or if I think I'm gonna, they're going to do a wake up, I can bait it with an armored attack to eat their wake up and get them in a full combo. There are many different options you can do on wake up and it really comes down to knowing what attacks your opponent has, what options they have after the attack. Like if it's a hard knockdown, they can't tech roll, that would affect what kind of Oki game you put in. Supergirl has a very strong one, especially in the corner with her 4-3 mix-ups. So number three is a meaty. And <laughs> I'm not exactly sure where this term came from. I didn't name it, so uh, don't blow me up for that. <laughs> One of my favorites was in Mortal Kombat X when you'd use Bo Raicho and you could hit them with a meaty fart. I don't know why I enjoyed that so much. I just think it's funny. Anyway, so a meaty is when you kind of hit a move on your opponent's wake up uh, more towards the end of the active frames of your move to kind of give you more frame advantage. So I'm using Firestorm as an example for this because he can use his EX Starfish uh, so if you hit him there, see it's plus four, but if you hit it more towards the end of the active frames, it gives him even more advantage. Um, but you have to do this at like the last possible frame of your move and also the last possible frame of their um, being in the knockdown state. So this is the regular move here. And then you can see in a moment I'm going to knock him down and then I'll do the media attack. You can see it hits him just a few frames later, allowing for just a little bit extra frame advantage. Number two is Tick Throw, and this is only really applicable to grappling type characters. I've used Swamp Thing as an example here. So a Tick Throw is when your opponent blocks a move, and you're able to hit a command grab that links directly from it while they're still blocking. So, as you can see, Swamp Thing's down one is a Tick Throw into his green thumb move. However, if you did the standing two into it, it is not. It's important to know what moves tick throw, especially against when you're trying to defend against grappling characters because there's options to kind of get out of them. Knowing when to dash backwards, when it's safe to poke, when it's safe to counter. Sometimes it's in your favor to try and challenge it, sometimes it's in your favor to just try and get away, sometimes you just kind of got to hold it. The number one is zoning. And I got Mr. Scarecrow here and you might wonder like, what the hell? Scarecrow doesn't even have a projectile. But the true definition of zoning does not include a uh, projectile. Projectiles are one thing. Sometimes you can keep a uh, character back here, say with like Dr. Fate, or uh, Deadshot's kind of an example. That's something a little bit different I'm going to touch on in a second. 
Zoning is controlling an area using superior moves to your opponent, knowing that you're kind of going to keep them out of your range. So Scarecrow does this really well with a lot of moves like his forward advancing headbutt. He can kind of stay in this area. This is pretty much where he wants to be because he can whiff punish almost anybody in the game with anything. Jump two if he wants. Jump three if he wants. Um, down two has a lot of range. Staying outside of your opponent's ideal range and just controlling the space and knowing that you have the advantage in that area at any given time. Now, being full screen using projectiles where your opponents really don't have much of an answer at all, that is usually called turtling, or in some stages it can also be referred to as spamming. Spamming is doing a move over and over and over again with no strategy. A lot of these times these moves are pretty good and kind of hard to get around. Um, not really a high level strategy, but uh, it is something that a lot of newer players will use. And just for a fun bonus, I thought I'd add in a sixth one here. Uh, Deadshot main. Now an example of this would be... Oh, you like your steak well done? You must be a dead shot main. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to see more of these, maybe I'll look up some more uh, terminology and stuff, because there's lots of stuff I use on a daily basis I don't even think of, but uh, I'll make another video about it. And uh, yeah, leave a comment if there's one that you're curious about, I'll try and answer it. Don't forget to subscribe, because we make videos every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff, and we'll see all you guys in the next video.